Hey yo, what up, my homies, my home skillets, my SA Ricos, it's me, Team Alright, back with another podcast, and this time we are going to discuss two, yes, two TNA wrestlers just got released today. Okay, Tony, you kick it off. Alright, um, first one, first one we'll talk about is the one that nobody gives a, two, a shit about is, um, Luke Gallows, uh, a- well, that's not his real name, but that was his name in WWE, but, uh, and, um, well, you know, his name in TNA was, uh, Doc, that's what the name he went under, but, uh, he was in the Aces and Eights group or whatever, and he was in the, the whole storyline with Aces and Eights versus Mo- the main event Mafia bullshit. I'm kind of surprised about this because, honestly, you know, they, they were barely just starting to get into this Mafia and Aces and Eights storyline, so now... I don't know how they're gonna play out, play his his release off on TV. Like, oh, maybe he got like, you know, maybe he got in trouble with. I don't know how they're gonna do it, honestly. But uh, that's one Aces and Eights guy gone that nobody cared about. Um, they could make, hopefully they could do a lot more of uh, releases with the guys in that group. But I'm thinking it makes sense now a little bit because uh, it doesn't make sense, but it does. I know that doesn't. What I just said doesn't make sense, but. Um, at some po- at some extent, if you think about it, um, now the the uh, mafia, you know, it's kind of be starting to get even. There's still a couple of guys that there's sub- still a couple more guys than there are the mafia, but Luke Gallows is gone now, so it's starting to make things even a little bit. So yeah, I could care less about the guy. Honestly, I never liked him anyway. He's just a jobber. He did nothing in TNA but be a jobber. So uh, yeah, what do you think? I totally agree with you, Tony. Um, he's just a waste of um, TNA space. Um, I don't know where he's gonna go from here. I doubt that W's gonna um, pick him up. I freaking doubt it. Maybe he's gonna go to ROH or Independence, or maybe he's gonna quit wrestling altogether. You know what I'm saying, Tony? You know. Yeah. But I think he did a pretty bit better job in W with the whole uh, CM Punk group back in the day. Uh, do you think I'm right, or do you think no? Time he was ever relevant. Yeah. Um. And the other um name he was under be, be before the Luke. What was it in W? What? Remember that oh, one guy? Festus. Oh my gosh, that was a bad gimmick for him. You know, I know it was an easy paycheck, but still, it was stupid and they're making fun of him. And I know he don't give a shit. I don't know if he did or not, but it was pointless. Um. Another person we want to discuss who got released is Tara or AK Victoria. I was very surprised when I heard the news. So, Tony, what's your thoughts on this news? Well, uh, that is very. You know, honestly, uh, this is kind of a shocker to me, too, because they were just starting to get a, uh, a team of. Um, a team known as uh, about two jobbers. One was called, I think, one was called Jesse Goddard's, and the other was Robbie. E. They, 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 and they're like, I guess you could say their manager was Tara, and they just like formed their team or whatever, and like she was their manager. So now that kind of makes no sense. Cause what was the point of even having her as the manager for like two weeks? Uh, that was kind of pointless. But uh, yeah, I mean, she's been at the company since 2009. So, you know, and. She really has not been on camera that much, uh, you know, as of this year, really. Uh, she's, she's, to me, she's been off camera more than she has been on camera. That's kind of sad. Tina wasn't using her right. Honestly, uh, she was a good knockout. I think I'll say this right now. I would, I'd say she did better in WWE than she did in TNA. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really time for her to move on. You know, maybe uh, she'll just kind of call it quits. And just focus on her restaurant, you know, with her husband and everything. But, uh, yeah, um, her name in W was Victoria. Her name in Tina was Tara. And, actually, her real name is uh, Lisa Marie Ver- Varin or Varon. I, but I know that's her real name. So, uh, yeah. Um, Tina is kind of, uh, they're just, people are either get, asking for the releases or just getting released, period. But it seems like it's kind of uh, being starting to be in a, ha- a habit here now. So, yeah. yeah. It's very sad. I thought uh, TNA would be the next uh, big company besides W. Now, I like uh, Tara or AK Victoria, whatever you want to call it. She's an awesome performer, especially in W, because W used her very correctly. Now, I don't follow follow 
her and Tina at all. I mean, maybe once in a while I watch her matches, but I think she did a better job, and they push her in WWE than Tina. Tony, I don't know if you want to uh, um dis agree on this uh, discussion or what, Tony. You know. I agree. Now, I think I don't know what's the next step for her. I don't know if she's done with wrestling completely and just focus on her restaurant. So, or maybe I, I discussed it with you before we discuss this, before we made this podcast, maybe, just maybe, Adobe will give her a call and she'd be a, be a part-time uh, diva, like RVD is right now and Y2J. Maybe that could happen, you know? Yeah. So, you know, because back in the day, uh, there was no such thing as a um, part-time wrestler. Now these days, a lot of people are doing it. Taker, for sure, Y2J, RVD, um... Triple H. Triple H. Um, there's other wrestlers in the league is a part timer. So, I don't know. I think. You know what? Well, you know go what? ahead. Uh, I'll say this. I maybe W will give her a call and ask her to like go down to the NXT facility. Maybe she can be a trainer for some of the divas out there like that aren't like she can help them out. And maybe make them better than they already are at the wrestling abilities. I think that would really be somebody that's you know uh, has a lot of. Um, has a lot of, you know, of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, experience. Yes. And, you know, uh, help out the young the young divas, you know, and to get into the main roster even. Yes, because uh, she's a she's a pro and she know what she's doing. Because the people in NXT, no offense, they need um, a pro to give them a helping hand. They need a mentor. Huh? They need a mentor. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that too. Yep, yep. You're correct. Um, and the reason they released these two teenage superstars is because budgets. That's what they're saying online. I'm not really too sure that is really legit. Or they asking for release, you know? Yeah. So it's just sad because I think, was it last week or the week before, they released, what, five people at one last week? Yeah, it's, it's sad. You don't hear anyone from WWE who can release... That much? No, the, the only one I well, WB WB didn't do it this year. The spring cleaning, but oh yeah, uh, there is a point that they do do this though. They release people, but um, you know, honestly, uh, what's it called? Speaking of releases, last week there was one that I could nobody I could give a fuck less about is the Matt Morgan. You know, so just uh, say that that guy's old news anyway. Yeah, um, I think. If he does go back to WWE, it'd be a part timer because he's not really a big impact, and WWE never used him correctly in the beginning. In the old, I see him being a bodyguard. Oh, I forgot was it old three, old two? Yeah, I, 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 I. Oh my gosh, I'm tongue tied. I agree with you, Tony. So like, what um, Diesel did to Shawn Michaels back in the day, and after that, he skyrocketed and. Um, Sid Vicious or Sid Justin did the same thing for Shawn Michaels. He skyrocketed, and um, probably Sid Vicious or Sid Justin was big before uh, as a bodyguard. Correct? Yeah. The reason, yeah, the reason I say that though is because to me, he, honestly, he's a better, he's a better, uh, he'd be a better bodyguard than a fucking wrestler. Honestly, I mean, he's not the best wrestler. Nope, he's not. No. Nope. And he bitches at us saying that oh we we judge him for his matches. <laughs> Please. There's a lot of more wrestlers besides him, or he's not very good. So, okay, Morgan, okay, if you're listening, but I freaking doubt it. What? Quit crying a river, Morgan. At least you get a paycheck, but no more you're not. No, but uh, back to Tara, though. Uh, she, uh, she is 42 years old, and damn, for her age, she looks sexy. Hell yeah, she does shit. Yeah. Man, she's good. I'm surprised when the WWE had the TV 14. And allowed to do Playboy, she never posed for that stuff because she'd be good looking, you know. Woo! Hot mama. Yeah. Cool. But probably her husband will not approve, but whatever. Never but. Know. Huh? Never know though. Yeah. Um. Man, it, it's gonna suck. I don't know where she's gonna end up. I don't know if she's gonna go to ROH or Independence or just stick with the wrestling, um, stick with her, uh, restaurant, oh, no. her restaurant, um, full time, you know. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, in um, probably months to come because I don't know if, if TNA still pays her when she gets released. How does that work, you know? No, I do not. Okay, so does anyone know if any wrestler fan knows if a teeny a wrestler gets released or a wrestler gets released, do they still get paid or are they screwed? Let me know. Or Tony, 
if if you like to know, you know, everyone like to know this stuff, you know, it's it sucks. I know, um, I know she missed going around the world, but I don't know what to tell you. Just a total um, mess, and I don't know what else to say. You got any anything else to say to add to this podcast, Tony? Uh, no, I just uh, you know, TNA may uh. TNA doesn't keep releasing people because it's kind of, you know, it looks, it's kind of sad though, but, uh, yeah, TNA, you know, try and keep some of your roster there. Yeah, not good at all, and, um, very pointless. If you keep doing that, you're going to have no one on the current roster, and we're going to get guys from WWE. Uh, no, because WWE is, um, make more money than TNA. Sorry, TNA fans, but it's damn true, and I think everyone knows that by now. Yep. So it's sad, but, jeez. Watch, watch be another, um, Breaking news that Tina lost her TV contract. <laughs> and anything's possible. The way they're going lately. And the ratings are not doing that good. Up and down, up and down. At least Raw got good ratings this past Monday, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll discuss that in the near future. Maybe, maybe not. So that's it for me, Team Rai Rai. And um, you want to plug your channel one more time, Tony? Uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to Wrestling Talent. Uh, and also subscribe to the Rated R Viper One. I recently, uh, uh, recently reached three thousand subscribers. So yeah. Well, congratulations, congratulations to you, Tony. And I really want to um, get a uh, thousand subs or whatever I freaking need. So everyone, um, please spread the word and hook up the Reister or AK Team Rai Rai. So that's about it with this podcast. So we we just were discussing two teeny wrestlers I got released today. Not too sure when this bad boy will be up, but we'll be up before you know it. And another thing is, this had nothing to do with TNA. Uh, this past Sunday went to a money not money bank Hooters, and I have some awesome video footage. I had to do some editing, so stay for that video and check out my new um bagging from Best Buy. It's awesome, baby. Awesome. So, Team Riley, sign off. You want to say goodbye, Tony? Yeah, later, everybody. And uh, tag team champions are out of here. Yeah, the tag team champions are out of here. Deuces! Goodbye.